Um, I grew up as a swimmer, although not a high level swimmer. So I, I, I was in part of a local swimming club. So I had the technique, um, but I was never renowned for my, my swimming ability really. Um, I drank for the university swimming club very, very successfully though. And then gave up sport, um, essentially gave up sport at university. Then I went traveling for two years. Um, and I got kind of puffy um, when I was traveling and thought the best way to lose some of the weight that I'd gained was to start running. And I'd come back to UK, I was doing my masters in international development um, in Manchester and I just started running and I I didn't really have a clue about running and I had secondhand clothes, I had really old running shoes, um, I got really embarrassed because I went bright red when I ran so I ran early morning so people wouldn't see me um, and I I became quite obsessed um, with with running and I guess the, the sense of euphoria it gave me um, and also the um, relief it gave me from the, the study too and I think my body was getting back in, into shape and I enjoyed that and so I decided to enter the London Marathon which is a huge obviously a huge deal for, for a British person and I um, was running for a charity and I ran the London Marathon in 2002 and that's when I was bitten by the endurance bug I really, really loved it. I loved the atmosphere. I loved the race. So then I started taking running more seriously. I joined a running group um, under a legendary, now late coach, Frank Corwell. And again, I was kind of middle of the pack um, amongst some really fantastic runners in, in that group. And amongst his group were, were some triathletes. And that's when I first learned about triathlon. So it was in about 2003, um, I first heard the word triathlon. I decided to, to buy a bike and I've still got it. It's a third hand, was a third hand Peugeot, yellow and black, looks like a bumblebee. And I got on it um, again a few months ago and it's so big, oh my God, it's far too big for me. But I was riding this bike in 2004, did a couple of sprint races, couple of Olympic distance races and was hooked. But then I went to live and work in Nepal. So essentially gave up triathlon in 2000, end of 2004 and 2005. But I did a lot of mountain biking in Nepal, um, no swimming. And I got bitten by a rabid dog when I was running, so I gave up running. So I was largely mountain biking. Then I did some cycle touring afterwards and got back to the UK in 2006. And I thought, right, I'm gonna give triathlon a really good go. Didn't have any kit. And so I borrowed a wetsuit and entered the a super sprint, the Redditch super sprint, infamous Redditch super sprint triathlon. And I got in the water, which wasn't tropical, in May, in the freezing cold rain. And the gun went off and the wetsuit flooded with water. And I couldn't swim, I couldn't go anywhere. And all the other swimmers disappeared into the distance and I was rescued by a kayaker. Um, and that was my first race back. Um, I, the first race my parents ever came to watch and they didn't come to watch another race until I won, won the World Championships once in Hawaii and proved to them that triathlon was actually something that was, that was appealing to them. Um, uh, and then the next race I did, I got a better fitting wetsuit and a better fitting bike. And I also got some clip-in shoes. And I won that race and I qualified to race at the World Age Group Championships. Uh, got a coach and raced at the World Age Group Championships that year, um, which I, I won. Um, and I guess that was the moment that changed my life forever because I'd gone from being an amateur athlete to people suggesting that I had what it took to be a professional triathlete and it's really something that had never until that point crossed my mind. I'd never had aspirations to be a professional triathlete, I'd never heard of Hawaii, um, I didn't really know anything about Ironman other than you had to be absolutely crazy to do it and I said I'd never do one and um, by February 2007 I'd given up my job and become a professional athlete.